like we always do at this time. Check this out, y'all. I was sitting here, right? And I was really trying to act myself up to believe that Dirk really didn't have nothing to do with King Von being set up. But the more I don't want to, the more I don't want to believe that, the more my, my my subscribers hit me up like, "Yo, check this out." Thank you, Ryan, my subscriber. You know exactly who you are. I don't want to scream out your last name, but thank you again, Ryan. I left it in my comments. So if you're a subscriber, you know where I'm going because you seen you probably read the comment where I told Ryan, "Thank you." He put Ryan put me up on this song here. I never knew about it. I'm not much of a King Von fan. Like, Gyla Hagen said, it's just something that draws you to this young man and it makes you want to help his situation because you know it wasn't right. Sometimes it don't matter what a person did in life. It's what they're doing in life. And what he was doing wasn't really bothering us. So, you know, he tried to make a change. They didn't want him to, so I guess they off. But this video right here, check this out. Listen to this song. I don't know if you ever heard this song because I never heard this song. In this song, I want you to understand that Dirk and Vaughn was not as close as they thought. Matter of fact, hold up. I'm going to stop. I don't even want you to see this video yet. I'm going to show you something else first. Ask yourself again, how the fuck ain't King Vaughn know? Now, just look. Look at her fucking head. You can't even see her face. Look at her eyebrows. Look at how her hair pulled back. Look at her ears. You can't tell me that that's not the lady that was in the airport. But look, she was sitting right there next to Vaughn. This is why I was trying to explain to my subscribers. They kept Von Hop on drugs. That's what his manager was saying when he was like, yo, he wasn't in his right state of mind. Of course he wasn't, you punk ass nigga. Oh, y'all kept him up on drugs so y'all can get his money. Y'all can beat him out of his money. Y'all can do dumb shit like this here. Like, I can even show you a part where the judge is telling them. All the nigga I do is pull the burden of proof on, on that man, on, on, on Von, and Dirk is straight. But at the same token, they say it's up to his lawyers, which is that lady sitting right there. And I don't know who the man is with the gray suit, but we should look into that because I guarantee he popped up again too. And I'm going to show you how King Vaughn answered him in a song. Hold on one second. I got some more clips to show you. Now, I'm going to show you right here, right, how they was fucking Vaughn over and while Vaughn was looking at him funny, right? First of all, Dirk got out. Vaughn didn't. Now, in this statement, they're trying to say that they got Dirk on, on video with his arm out the window shooting the gun. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Listen to what they're trying to say now. Oh, he didn't even have a gun. He didn't even have a replica of a gun. Nigga, they got him. I, hold up. Just watch. Stop short of ordering house arrest. Due to the nature of the rapper's career, another condition of release, banks cannot have a gun, even a replica or a toy. Banks denies shooting the man who survived. So if he did not shoot at him, who is he saying shot him? Because it was only him and King Von there, and they both on tape. If he's saying he didn't shoot him, who is he saying shot him? Now, Pete Gay, if they saying that he didn't have a replica of a gun, he said he's innocent, right? Why would he be in court saying he's innocent? And why would they be saying this? Five in the morning on February 5th, Lil Dirk, whose real name is Dirk Derek Banks, and his co-defendant, Devontae Bennett, were seen on camera involved in shooting Alexander Witherspoon, a person police say they knew. They were hanging. Oh, hold up. Check this out. A, um, studio to make music. The rapper and Bennett listened to the evidence against them in court. Police told the judge later that night the victim, Banks, Bennett, and others went to a nightclub, a gas station, and ended up in the parking lot of the varsity. That's when Weatherspoon said he was robbed and shot. He said his chain was snatched off his neck and he had $30,000 stolen from him and they stole the vehicle he was driving. Police say Banks was seen on tape shooting a gun. You see Mr. Banks' arm out the window firing several shots at the victim, towards the victim. Banks' attorney says this is a celebrity witch hunt. Never forget that face back there that King Vaughn is making. He's upset. You could tell he had been crying. You could tell that this man with his eyes closed that refused to look at him. He was painted as someone who was from the... He set that man up. And let me show you what King Vaughn answered back to him. This is a short video. I told y'all. Check this out. 
what I'm going to do at memory of King Von, I'm going to end this video what he felt about Dirk and how he felt Dirk turned on him, told on him, and heard his feelings. Check it out. He didn't want to do drill. If he didn't want to do drill music no more, don't you think that now would have been the perfect time to kill him? He said he, don't, he didn't want to do drill music no more. So if he didn't want to do drill music no more, that means he didn't want to rap anymore. You feel me? So he was trying to make good business deals, get his masters, and get out the game because he know that Dirk told on him. And this is what he said. Tell me what you know. Why do you think that Vaughn signed to the devil over that Empire Records and not and not his best friend that put him on? Dirk. Dirk got OTF Records. Why wasn't he signed to OTF? Because he know. That was his brother, Twin. You got to like he don't know him. And understand, don't think that the court really... The court can't tell you who the fuck to hang with when you out on bail. Ain't no bail really said, oh, you can't hang around your co-defendant. That's bullshit. That's all bullshit. He didn't want that man around because he knew that he knew that. ...probable cause standard, and they will attempt to do that by the witnesses that they place in the witness chair over here. They may call one or more witnesses. Dirk was the witness. And that's why he looked at him like that, like, bro, you a witness? Look at the face. Oh, Look. Um... Like, share, subscribe. Keep King Von in y'all mind. Memories. Rest in peace, young fella. And defendant Dirk Banks, 19 CP 183973. This court finds probable cause for criminal attempt to commit murder, aggravated assault, participation in criminal street gang activity, possession of a firearm during the commission of felony. And possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. As it relates to 19 CP 183693 involving defendant Davon Bennett, the court finds probable cause for possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. Participate. Never forget that face that he's making right there. No. This is I do what I do. I love my subscribers because my subscribers keep on feeding me. So it ain't like I'm just saying, nah, Ryan, thank you again, my brother. I told you I was going to shout you out for this one. I never heard this song to one of my subscribers put me down. Man, close that back door, man. We out. Peace.